a good thing to have is a little survival kit in your car or truck and also have uh, a blanket I usually keep a blanket on my seat of my vehicle just to help keep it clean but in an emergency it'll help keep somebody warm just wonderful but if you take your time you'll make her through gotta watch out for bridges as they ice up with the cold air underneath funny story about uh, bridges many moons ago we we're on a family vacation and uh, the north part of Florida got uh, freezing rain which is very rare it happens yeah I'd have to say it was the late 80s anyways we had to go get a regulator for a propane tank as the one froze up and malfunctioned anyways we were uh, driving and we wanted to go over this bridge to go over to uh, get this part but the road was closed we talked to talk to the police officer said hey look we just got to go over that bridge and get this part and, and then uh, carry on back to uh, where we're staying so the cop said you know what you're from Canada sure go ahead and I thought that was pretty cool that the cop let us over you know we asked and said hey how can we get around but there was no other way but anyways we managed to uh, we, we managed to uh, get over that bridge and, and get the part we needed and, and carry on but it was pretty funny that because uh, the cop said oh you're from Canada you're used to it so go ahead but he said uh, we only have so many salters and a couple of them were lent down to uh, Georgia and uh, the other one was broken <laughs> so they didn't have that many but anyways those things happen right freak storms these are the drifts they're almost up to my waist that's what you got to push through sometimes well, this is what it's like to drive in Canada in snow. We got a plow up here and you got to get over, you know, because the plow is usually over the line. Uh, it looks like we got a car up ahead that's probably stuck in the friggin' road. So if he's stuck, we'll give him a push. Well, there's no oncoming traffic, but we're gonna hit her anyways. Just gotta put her through. The old Tacoma, she's doing good. I don't have to go through this way, but I'm doing her anyways. It's good to know what a, your truck can go through. For anybody that boats, feels like you're boating when you're going through the drifts the front end comes up but anyways oh there we go we got some clear road but it changes pretty quickly the visibility is going to get pretty poor so back off on the throttle a bit roads are pretty bare for the most part but every now and again you'll get a stretch that'll have lots of snow on it so the road condition changes in a heartbeat now, right now there doesn't appear to be any ice on the roads but sometimes there'll be well, the roads are 90% ice and just little patches here and there that are uh, bare pavement lots of things to consider when you're driving in the winter pretty lucky this is not a major expressway or anything so you only get a few cars but still got to be uh, looking for the cars going 
up the hill is pretty drifted, but I really don't want to go over into oncoming traffic because the visibility is really low. So I'm just going to slow her down and creep over the uh, yellow line. And if I have to, I'll just have to get it back in my lane, even if I might get stuck. And keep an eye to make sure nobody's going to creep up behind me. But anyways, you got to keep your momentum to keep going. If not, once you lose your momentum, you kind of you get euchred. And those invisibility drops at a moment's notice. There's an intersection right here. So I'm just taking it easy. Just in case someone blows the stop sign, even though we're uh, a main highway. Hey, things happen where people can't see, so if you can't see, then good chance they can't see. And watch out for snow guys. That guy doesn't have any lights. One time I was uh, going down a road that I was familiar with and the guy was blowing snow right on the road and he was halfway out on the road. Yeah, not very cool because when you're going down the road, you know, you're looking for stuff, but you know, nothing without lights, you know, not fun. But on the same point, if there's a guy out doing snow, give him some room, you know. They're in slow moving vehicles. They're just trying to make the roads better. And keep your tank full, because you never know if you're gonna get into the rhubarb. You're gonna need to keep your uh, vehicle running to keep you warm. Also, you might need to uh, burn a little extra gas. It's getting your way out. A good thing to keep in your uh, vehicle is an old cell phone and the car charger. You never know if there's gonna be a big emergency and you're gonna need it. A cell phone that's not activated, you can still call 911. So just a useful piece of information. And know your route where you might have to stop, where intersections are, so that way you can be on alert for something you might have to slow down for or completely stop. Also, when you're taking off, give her some extra gas just to see if you can, uh, what kind of traction you can get. And then also, what you can do, that person's out in the rhubarb, nice four wheel drive, Chevy. Anyways, also, just roll along not too fast and just do a little uh, test braking just to see if you're gonna how you're gonna stop you know like 20 kilometers an hour nothing you know drastic but it's just good to know what's going on you know and listen to the weather report if there's freezing rain coming that night and you got to go somewhere well leave before it or just don't bother if you can drive through anything you just gotta just gotta adjust accordingly And one of the biggest tips, leave early. If you're still late, you're late. And if you leave your regular time, well, you're late. That's life. Well, don't forget to have good winter tires. Cheers, everyone.